I'm curious what you think of the videos and my work. It was jarring, but I also knew it was going to happen. I yeah. still would have done it <laughs> regardless because it's my path. But... <laughs> We're here at the beach, we're at the ocean. I'm visiting California where I grew up. And we named it Crab Beach we, because yes. when my son was little, we would first discovered that we every rock we turned over, there was a crab. Lots of crabs here. So Crab Beach. Yeah, and then at some point, I took a different route with my life. I was in real estate for a little bit and kind of questioning. Hi, I'm Sammy Vanek, and I'm a realtor here in Santa Rosa. I'd like to help you buy your second home. The one with more rooms, bigger backyard, space for a garden, a dog, a cat, the kids, maybe even chickens. You must be thinking how inexperienced I must be. You're right. I took a more spiritual turn. I'm curious, and now I'm making videos, so I'm curious what you think of the videos and my work. Um, I have a little story that goes with that. Yeah. Do you mind if I tell it? Please. Um, I, I am a general contractor and a real estate broker, but I do a lot of contracting. Like yesterday, we were up on the roof. Oh my God, brutal. Uh, I used to use an excavator. I used his father and then his son was taking over. And then I got to know him and he had young kids and his father was in the Marine Corps. He was in the Marine Corps and he goes, well, my boys will be in the Marine Corps. I go, well, what if they don't want to be? And he goes, they don't have a choice. And that's never what I wanted for my son. I wanted him to do, I'm glad he's not a contractor sticking his head under peed up toilets and fixing them. Um, yeah, I'm glad, but when he needs to work, he's really good at what he can do. He's very, very skillful and very crafty, but I'm really happy that he chose another way and not, it's not all about money. It's never all about money. I mean, yes, it is about money, but it's not about money. What really means anything comes from the heart. It has to come from the heart or it's not real. And I traveled quite a few trips. When I was 18, 19, I took a couple months and went off and explored Amer America. I had a little truck with a camper, so I was gone for like two and a half months. Then I went back and worked on the family farm and then I would take off again. And so traveling, I think I passed it on to my son. We took a big trip every summer. Yeah, since I was nine, we would go out and I've been to every national park almost in this in the United States, feel very comfortable going out into nature. And now I have, of course, this camera and this, this, yeah, endeavor that I feel so called to do. I um, got Sammy his first little camera from my travel agent. It was a little yellow thing and it was a panorama only. <laughs> so unfortunately he went crazy with it and took a lot of pictures that I had to get developed. <laughs> but. Um, but I didn't really care about that. We had an old video camera. My ex, Sammy's mom and I, we bought a video camera. It was a huge one, like a yeah. shoulder mount thing. Yeah. And I took that on a couple of our first trips and Sammy would pick it up. And all the other parents I noticed were like telling their kids what to do. And don't do that. I didn't do that. I just like, here's a camera, go do what you want with it. <laughs> and uh, so I would think, like to think I inspired a little bit of I didn't want to overparent. What about the, the spiritual part? Because I mean, when I left, I was in real estate for a while, a little bit in California. I'm Sammy Vanek, and this is the house that my clients are in right now. We just got an accepted offer, my very first one, and there's two. And then I quit kind of suddenly. And then at first, that was kind of like jarring for you. But then you, like, we, we dropped in and you seemed to. Understand it was it. jarring, but I also knew it was going to happen because of a. Uh, a person who I had seen who was sort of a psychic woman who's now retired, but um, mm. she uh, she told me early on that Sammy should not be in real estate. That he should be teaching or helping people mm. from the heart. You know, the money thing was also he was making good money in real estate, but you know, it's you have to find what you really want to do. A lot, most people don't do what they want. Most people are just working a job and hope to retire and drop dead. And uh, that's not really where I was ever coming from, but I do work hard. <laughs> yeah, you work hard. So, uh, but anyway, you know, I'm really happy with the way things have gone and turned out. I'm really, I'm happy you're on your own, pal. And yeah, no, I have a lot of privilege to explore what I want to explore and create what I want to create. and. 
for years I didn't know if it was gonna work. I was like doubting and doubting and it seems to be like there's a little bit of, there's, some, there's something happening now and it's such a relief to. Yeah, there's something feel. happening for both of us. And for Sammy, there's several things happening which I'm very happy about. It expands my heart many, many times. Now, if you notice my hat, there's a bison on there, right? Okay, I have a little backstory about the bison. I mean, it was probably nine, I think, it was the first time he had gone to Yellowstone. And we were driving through Yellowstone, and when he first saw the bison herd, he was ecstatic. We watched the bison for hours. We pulled over and just sat. Never get too close to a bison. <laughs> As you see people getting gored. And there was one evening in particular, we were camping in Grand Teton National Park, which was, it's one of my favorite places on earth, probably. We pulled out into this meadow and we sat on the roof for a couple hours and we just watched, we had you know, we brought some food and we watched the bison with the calves. I mean, the mothers herding the calves and protecting them. And it was very rewarding. Yeah, about 10 minutes. a really good shot. Wow. Wait, Sammy, quiet for a second. You can oh. hear them. The bison's become my kind of my spirit guide to me. I'm a huge road tripper. I consider myself <laughs> road trip king. That will be all caps. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Give me some work to do later. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what did we do today at the beach? We hunted. We hunted. No, I turned over rocks. I picked up a little crab. And I said, good luck, little buddy. You'll be grown-ups one day and you'll be snapping at me. And uh, <laughs> we came here many times. We filmed the movie here. That's the other end of the beach down yonder. That's right, we did. We filmed uh, The Reward of Death. Scenes of it were filmed right here. That's right. Yeah, my filmmaking goes back quite a few years. Yeah, actually. Yeah, I, it's just been a very enjoyable time. The last few days have been really good, really good days for me. Me too. Been yeah. good. Yeah, I feel it feels really good to come here and revisit where I grew up. I feel sad because it's so beautiful here, but it's not for me to stay. So, and so I probably won't be staying either. So. Yeah, you're you're you want to sleep too? Yeah, I've, I've spent, been here a long time. I'm ready. I'm ready for new, yeah. new adventures and yeah, new social influences. And... Thanks for supporting me in this journey because it's not. I, I imagine other parents wouldn't understand, and I felt really seen by you and supported by you. And you even stood up for me with other family members who were questioning. Well, I have my my choices and my path and that's like i still would have done it <laughs> regardless because it's my path but you know everybody it's a lot of parents they just want their kids to do what they were doing and work and retire and that's never well i think i stated earlier that's never been my intention um i let people do what they want in some ways on the early camping trips i let them go a little too far <laughs> there was a thing called fire jumping which <laughs> You know, it was a little dangerous, but I, oh, go ahead, fire jump. You know? Then I let him take gas and make a, <laughs> a fire ring. And uh, you gotta think, know, you gotta know, you gotta know how this thing's work. <laughs> I don't think every parent would do that. But. Go ahead. Gives it a whack. Whoa, one, one crushing blow. Thank you for watching my video. Our success is mutual.